Hello and welcome to today's video. So this week we're going to be having a look at John Wyndham's The Day of the Triffids. Now I've loved this book ever since I first read it as a kid and uh, I've ended up getting lots and lots of uh, different editions of it over the years from the very first a British hardback, some American editions and some of the later Penguin editions as well which I just love. So that will be the focus of today's video. So if you've not already do please consider subscribing to the channel for more vintage paperback content like this going forward. Sit back, relax and let's get to it. Here we have the very first Triffids book we're going to look at today and this is the British first edition as published by Michael Joseph and um, this is uh, well it's absolutely great I'm really chuffed to have this one in my collection um, it is the original first from I think it's 1951 um, yeah, the UK first from 1951. Um, it's in a facsimile dust jacket. I would have loved to have been able to afford um, an unrestored original dust jacket, but they're just too expensive. Um, so this does the trick. I mean, it's, it's exactly the same as the original. The only difference is it says it's a, a facsimile dust jacket in the corner there, but it is still the actual book itself is a first edition and underneath it's not actually too, too bad a copy that it's actually quite nice. So uh, I'm just delighted to be able to own uh, an original of this one of what is probably my all time favorite book, to be honest. Um, uh, my interest sparked from the British TV series back in, was it 1981 uh, with John Dutine uh, in the title role. And um, uh, I loved it since then. And that, and you know, Wyndham did quite a few earth based sort of end of the world disaster stories. And they're the ones I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, really, really great book that day, the Triffids. Uh, and that's the first British edition. Now, when it got published in paperback, who would publish it? But my favorite paperback publisher, Penguin Books, with a, a jacket actually designed by Wyndham on the front. Um, there was much to and froing, and uh, he, in the end, came up with, with the help of the Penguin Art Department, that particular design. Now, this isn't my best copy, but it's the best I've had through my hands, and I've had several. And it seems really, really tough to get in first edition in nice nick. But I am having looked at this now, thinking, oh, I'd like to get a better copy of this one. So this was 1954, and it was three years after the original hardback had come out. And then it went uh, mass market for the paperback market. Uh, so that's the first paperback in Britain. And uh, while we're here, I'm um, so this one came out a, a few years later, and this is the second uh, paperback version, 1965, um, and this has got um, the, the new cover. This is the second edition, uh, or the second version of the Penguin covers. Now, one of my all-time favourite jackets for this is the first American edition, and that's this one published by Popular Library. Now, they renamed the book over there, Revolt of the Triffids, rather than Day of the Triffids, uh, for some reason. But just look at that amazing, amazing artwork on the front there. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, somehow they managed to get a little bit of cleavage there, that's typical of the American books at this time. Um, yeah, as I said, a popular, popular library title. An unusual science fiction novel. I think it is quite unusual. Um, number 411 in the Popular Library series. Lovers in a doomed world. So once again, they're trying to, so um, yeah, because of the period that this was um, published, they're trying to sex it up a little bit because that was sort of the market on the newsstands. Um, and this particular one, this edition came out in March, 1952. So it wasn't long after the original hardback had been published in the States by Doubleday. Alas, I don't have the US uh, hardback edition. And then, this next one is actually another fairly early um, a paperback, US paperback edition of Triffids. And this is by Crest Books, which was uh, an imprint of Fawcett. And this particular one was published in, let's see, well, it just gives the original published date 951. I don't think, is it going to give me a new one? I think this must be very early 60s. I've got, it doesn't give the exact publishing date, but I've got a few others in this series by Wyndham. And that is actually going to be a follow-up video where I'm going to do all the other Wyndham uh, books, you know, Trouble with Lycan and um, Children of the Damned and all the rest of them that we've got. Um, so uh, of which there is ma many, the Crack and Wakes, of course, uh, Chalky, there's loads of them. So that will be the subject of another video. Now, as well as those like really early editions, um, Triffids itself has not been out of print since it was published and Penguin 
in the UK have done a rough guess, I reckon 25 different editions, all slight variations over the years. And that's ridiculous when you think about it. Um, I've got another five to show you. Now, this was the one where this was the tie in to the, uh, the BBC serial. I think it was 1981 or 1982. Um, and this was a classic cover. Um, Yellow, even on the back, there's over 1 million copies sold in, in Penguin, and I can believe it. Um, now, a gripping TV, if you've never seen this adaption, I think it's far, far better than the um, the one that was done um, in the early 2000s. Um, this is a much better adaption, in my opinion. And let's see when this, this TV tie-in was published. Uh, 1981, yeah, and this is, you know, I was 11 at the time. It was a big deal on BBC. Uh, it was cover of the Radio Times. It was repeated the following year. Um, it still holds up very, very well today, this adaption, and um, it comes recommended. Um, if you've not seen it, do track one down. And then I've got four more, and these are all um, in the B format. Now, I don't know which one comes first, so I'll just do this one, which is the Penguin Modern Classics Edition. Now, I do really love this jacket. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, I've not made a point of trying to pick all the uh, Wyndhams up in all the different editions because there's just too many. Um, as much as I'd like it, as much as I'd like every edition of Orwell's Down and Out in Paris and London, I'm not going to get them because there's just too many. However, this particular one was the Andy Bridge is the, uh, the cover artist. Um, does come recommended. Uh, when did this particular? It's got a new introduction as well. And this one was published in a Penguin class in the year 2000. All right. So this even this one's already almost 20 years old. So you've got that one. Now there's another Penguin uh, modern classics edition here, which is uh, got the glossy cover. It's B format again. Same introduction. I reckon this is the same content, just a little bit later, a 16th print, but it still says year 2000 which is like crazy so there's that one now this one came out um it says a film classic which is a bit odd i know they did do um, an early 60s movie of triffids but it's pretty darn awful um i think this particular one um was released through yeah through the sunday times and it was actually a freebie so it was given away free uh, the, the print's not great the print quality not sort of you know up to penguin's usual quality um it doesn't, does it give a printing date on this one? No, it doesn't. It was just a promotion done through the Times newspaper and um, still quite nice to have as a bit of a, var a variation, a bit of a heart back to the original Penguin tri-band covers there. And just one more, which, you know, if as if how many books do you need for Day of the Drift as well? This is my last one. This is the Modern Library Edition, um, a 20th century rediscovered, a new introduction by Edmund Morris. Not the greatest of covers. Don't know what, what the significance of that one is. Um, it was obviously a USA import. Um, it's got an eight dollars, eight pounds fifty, fourteen dollars on the back. And um, this, I don't know where I got this one from. Um, this is a two. This is the most up to date one I've got, which is two thousand and three. Um, and it's got the introduction, biographical notes, and then it's got a reading group guide because I guess this would make quite a good little uh, book for. Um, a book group to study because it's just great and uh, well if you've never read the day of the triffids i suggest you stop this video right now and go and pick up a copy because it's fantastic so there you go i hope you enjoyed that look at john wyndham's day of the triffids certainly one of my all-time favorite novels um so if you have enjoyed it do please give the video a like and a thumbs up. And uh, if you've not already, do please hit that subscribe button for regular vintage penguin and paperback content going forward. So until next time, then thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.